Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you how to take notes on the latest iPad 11th generation 2025. So I will use Apple Pencil USB-C and the app that I am going to use is Cola Note app. So I will show you 16 powerful features for note taking. So let's start. First of all, a big thank you to Cola Note for sponsoring this video. So first of all I will open Cola Note app and then from here I will select quick note and then I will start taking my notes. The first feature is about timer. So for example I decide a task and I want to set a timer for that task. So I will select this timer option and then from here I will select this Pomodoro timer and then from here you can select focus time, you can select short break and long break as well and then you can select this start option and now you can start working on your task so it will track your progress it will also show you this timer on top and this will help you to boost your productivity you can also select a basic timer as well so I will select this timer option from here and then I will select this end option and here is the basic timer so I will select it you can set any time from here and then you can select this start option so cola note will notify you when it's done you can also select the stopwatch option as well so I will select this timer option from here and then I will select this stopwatch and then you can select this start option and now you can track your progress according to this timer the next feature is about web page access to your notes. So for example, I am taking my notes and I want to insert a website to these notes. So I will select this plus icon and then from here I will select this link option and then I will select insert link to a website and here I can search for my website. So for example, I want to search a website about brain anatomy. So here it will show you all the results related to brain anatomy. For example, I like this website and now I want to add this website to my notes so I will select this create option the website will be added you can change its position you can also resize it as well and then you can select this done option now I can easily access this website directly through my notes the next thing is you can also drag any content from this website to your notes so for example I want this image I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop it inside my notes and later if you want you can also resize it and you can also edit it same way you can also drag any text so for example I want this text inside my notes so again I will start selecting this text so I will select it till here now again I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop anywhere inside my notes and later if you want you can also edit this text as well the next feature is about AI assistant. For example, you are taking your notes and you want to utilize AI assistance. So you can select this AI assistant tool. It will show you the option for chat GPT and it will also show you the option for grok. And here you can ask about anything. For example, I want to ask about onco gene signal pathways. So I will write my prompt and then I will send this prompt so AI will start responding to this prompt and then I can also use this information so here you can see AI will start generating this response now I can easily copy this information so here is the copy option so you can select this copy option and then you can add it to your notes so for example I want to add it to my notes I will select this text tool and then I will select this text and then I can easily paste this information over here and you can also edit it you can also use AI calculator option as well. So you have to select this calculator from here. It will show you this handwriting calculator. And then here you can write your equation. So for example, I will write here 2 square plus 5 square divided by 2. And then I will press this equal sign. So it will generate the answer for you. You can also select this scientific calculator as well. 
The next feature is about audio recording. For example, you have a lecture going on and you want to do the audio recording of that lecture. So you can select this recorder and then from here you can select start recording. And now you can start taking your notes and it will also record the audio. Once you finish with your recording, you can select this recorder again and then you can stop it from here. The best thing about this audio recording is it will automatically sync with your handwriting. So so I can easily play it from here and then I will tap on my handwriting and then it will start playing the audio from exactly that point. The next feature is about PDF annotations. So you can select import PDF option and then from here you can select your PDF file. It will open your PDF file and here you can use all of these tools for your PDF annotations. For example, you can use this highlighter tool. You can also create shapes inside your PDF and you can also write in your PDF as well. You can also use this page sorter option and from here you can reorganize pages inside your PDF file. You can also add new pages as well. So you can select this arrow and then from here you have this option of insert page. And now you can see I have this new page so I can select it and now I can start working on this new page as well. The next feature is about planners. So I will select this planner tab and here we have this digital planner library. So you can download any of these planners. For example, here I have this back to school 2025 planner. And if I scroll down, you can see I have a lot of options available. So on this side, I can select any month. So you can see I can jump to any month. You can also select any date. So for example, I want to open for July 30th. So I will select it from here. And then you can see it will open this daily planner for July 30. You can also select any categories. So on top we have different categories available. So you can select exam, you can go for homework, you can select course, you also have the option for lecture, you also have the option for mind map, reading and notes. So here you can see you can use all of these tools and now you can start working on your planner. You can get this planner for free with premium version. The next feature is about multitasking. For example, you are taking your notes and in the meantime, you also want to visit a website. So you can take out this doc and then from here, you can open this Safari browser in split view. Now you can visit this website and in the meantime, you can also take your notes as well. The next thing is you can also drag any content from this website to your notes. For example, I want to bring this image to my notes. I will use my Apple pencil. I I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop it to my notes and later if you want you can also edit this image as well same way you can also drag any text so for example I want this text inside my notes so again I will use my apple pencil I will press and hold it like this and then I will start making my selection so I will select this text till here now again I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can also so edit this text as well. The next thing is you can also open two notes side by side. So for example, here I have this note and now I want to open another note. So I will select this notes option from here. It will show me all of my other notes. So for example, I want to open this note. I will just select it and it will open this note here in split view. And now I can work on both of these notes together. The next thing is you can also open different tabs. So I will close this note and now I want to access another tab. So on top we have different tabs available. So you can directly switch between different tabs. Now let's talk about tools. So on top we have different tools available. You can select any of these tools. The first tool is pen tool and inside pen tool we have 25 different style of pens available. So here we have this 3D sunrise pen. Now you can use this 3D pen for your note taking. You can also use other pens. So for example I will select this outline pen and now I will show you how this outline pen works. You can also use this new shadow pen as well and now you can use it for your note taking. The next thing is you can also create neat shapes. So for example, I will draw this shape and I will hold my pencil. It will convert it into a neat shape. You can also change the width. You can also change the opacity. And if you select this advanced settings option, you can also set the stabilizer. So here we have the option for soft, silky, 
and fluid you can also generate stickers using ai so i will select this sticker tool and then here we have different stickers available but you can also generate stickers so i will select this create stickers option and here i will start writing my prompt so for example i want to create a sticker about diary and coffee so i will write my prompt and then i will select this option of generate image so ai will start analyzing my prompt and then it will generate generate a sticker for me so here you can see the sticker you can select it it will be added to your notes and later if you want you can also edit it you can also use this curve tool to create different curves inside your notes you can also use a translation feature as well so here we have this translation feature i will select it and then you can see we have this option of source language so you can select the source language and then you can select the target language so i will select target language and from here you can select any language language and then you can translate your notes the next feature is about flashcards so here we have this flashcard library you can download any of these flashcards and these flashcards are categorized according to different subjects you can also create your own flashcards as well so for example here i have this human anatomy flashcard i will select and then i will select this session option and then i will select start learning so now i can use this flashcard method for my learning the next feature is about collaboration so you can do real time collaboration for your note taking so you have to select this collaboration icon and then you can add different members for your note taking you can also select this chat option and you can also control different activities for your notes you can also search inside your notes by handwriting so i will select this search icon and then here i will start writing so for example i want to search about heart so you can see it will show me the exact handwriting on page number 2 i will select it and then it will bring me to the exact notes you can also sync your notes to icloud drive so you have to select this icon and then from here you can see we have this icloud drive option the next thing is you can also export your notes as a pdf file so for example i will select my notes and here you can see we have this export icon so i will select it and then you can see you can export your notes as a pdf file you can also select single page option as well So guys you can download this app for free and you can utilize different features you can also go for the premium version for extra features one more thing i want to mention here is about back to school campaign which runs from july 16 to july 31 during this period users who purchase the premium plan on the app will receive 50% off and get a free digital planner as a gift so this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to to my channel thank you very much